What's up guys, welcome back to Chris Wong yeah. Vlogs and today is packing day so I apologize right now if I am looking very rough right now because well to be honest I've just spent all day starting to organize my things and I am getting ready to leave the cruise ship but look at the state, I don't even know you can see this, look at the state of my cabin right now because I am in the process of just organizing and here's my suitcase and I'm trying to just fit clothes and I'm going to attempt to start packing right now but yeah I've, I've got the, the cabin is not looking great right now but um, yeah the process has started. So flying back to the UK is actually pretty easy for me now with the current restrictions all I need to do is make sure I have two things first one is a passenger locator form which I actually can't start filling out until at least two days uh, before I actually arrive into the UK and I need to book a day two antigen or a lateral flow test for when I arrive back in the UK, which has to be done within the first two days of actually arriving into England. So yeah, I've already booked that appointment. That's all set. I can actually do that as soon as I arrive in the airport. And yeah, the, the, the feeling is starting to be, the feeling is starting to become a bit more real now. I can, I think, now that I've started packing and arranging my things and I'm slowly mentally preparing to leave the ship now I can actually start to finally start getting excited about going back home and to all of my friends and family I cannot wait to see you again and just start spending some quality relaxing time after a seven and a half month contract on board Royal Caribbean's Odyssey of the Seas. So it's now a couple days later and this is now officially as I'm recording this moment right now, this is my last day on board. I have literally just finished my last shift in the casino. It's currently nearly 2 a.m. Casino's closed, I've clocked out and I have officially finished this contract and I have now pretty much packed. I've already given my suitcase in to security, which uh, this is the process that us crew members have to do. Um, as part of all the paperwork and sign off process, we give our luggage for security check the night before and then tomorrow we will pick up our luggage in the terminal and now my cabin is well almost empty again I mean my desk I've just wiped everything down so everything is very clean um, uh, the only thing I need to do now is if I can get focus uh, I've still got garbage obviously I've still got one more night here so and before I leave take out the garbage um, I've just got my wash stuff, which I'm going to need, obviously, for tomorrow morning. Uh, everything's pretty much empty now. Uh, look, empty, empty. Again, just things that I'm going to need for tomorrow. Uh, I'll need to, obviously, get rid of my towel. Uh, wardrobe's looking empty now, so here's what I'm going to be wearing in the airport tomorrow. Fresh bed sheets and towels and toilet paper for the new crew member who's going to be moving in here. Um, Sometimes a crew member may move in here straight away. Sometimes this is probably going to be empty for a little bit and another crew member will then move in. Um, yeah, fresh socks for tomorrow. This is all empty. Um, yeah, my suitcase was stored underneath the table. Um, but obviously, look, I've got all this space now. Um, yep, just double check I've got everything and I'm not leaving anything on the ship. Yep, consumed all of my Red Bull and soda haven't left anything in here and then obviously after my final night in bed I will be taking away this bedding and putting the new ones there um, but yeah my cabin's looking very empty it almost looks a little, little sad <laughs> everything on this chair now is oh, got some important information there can't show you that uh, this is all going to be my carry-on which uh, tomorrow morning I will be putting in my backpack and of course I have a hoodie ready because when I arrive in the UK, we are pretty much in the middle of winter right now. So I will most definitely need warm clothes. It's uh, it's funny how even though I'm from England and I would say I'm used to the cold after spending an entire seven and a half month contract here, home based in Florida and uh, the Caribbean as my home port. Yeah, you... Um, you forget what the cold feels like sometimes, so I think I'm going to be in for a little bit of a shock when I arrive back in England. It's 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 a strange feeling, you know, finishing work 
doing your last shift, saying goodbye to all of my co-workers. It's, um, it's a little emotional, but at the same time, I've been, you know, I've been waiting for this day now. <laughs> I think this whole cruise, I've just been counting down the hours, counting down the days until I finally get to say, I am finally coming home. Um, yeah, uh, the only things that were different this time around was I had to do a temperature check. Uh, one last final temperature check at the medical and a final PCR test, which obviously both were okay. And I am safe to leave the ship and head out back into the real world. Oh, goodbye, Odyssey of the Seas. Thank you for the last seven and a half months, and I will see you next time. Oh, and just like that, goodbye, Odyssey of the Seas. See you later. It's been amazing. It's been challenging. But it's time for me to spread my wings and fly. Oh, it's a little sad leaving. My final look of the ship. Maybe I'll see you again in the future. Ah, welcome back to Miami airport once again. Yo, this is a uh, different scenes to what I'm used to. The airport actually looks busy, like really busy. Like there's people everywhere. But it's kind of strange actually to, uh, yeah, try and get used to normal life again. Yeah, here's the thing. Normally, I would be kind of freaked out that I'd be surrounded by so many people, you know, potential COVID spreading around. But actually, walking through Miami airport today, it's actually been pretty nice just to see some sort of normal life. Like, it actually feels nice to walk around the airport and just see a lot of things are open, uh, people are traveling. Um, yeah, especially me being on the cruise ship for seven to eight months where everything was controlled and there was a lot of you know health and safety rules to follow and just following those rules rigorously every single day just to be in the airport now and relax and just sort of well and enjoy myself it's actually kind of nice just to well, like i said experience somewhat of a normal life again but yes i am here now in miami airport once again very different scenes to how it was when i was flying back home uh, at the beginning of the shutdown and you guys saw my vlogs of, as to how empty this whole area was and now yeah it looks like things are happening again life is happening again slowly but surely um but yeah anyway i've got some time to kill now i've just filled out my passenger locator form it's a bit too early for me to check in so i will try and find some food somewhere and um, yeah, I hope you enjoy today's airport vlog. So I've got the standard Chris Wong travel essentials here. One suitcase with all of my belongings and one carry-on. This is all I need. I would love to try this Margaritaville. Obviously, I have been to so many in the Caribbean ports. But seeing this one here in the airport, uh, yeah, hopefully one day I'll try it. Here's the thing, whenever I am... Uh, traveling by myself i don't usually like to sit down in a restaurant and eat on my own so normally i would just go to somewhere like burger king or mcdonald's or whatever's available but uh yeah if i was traveling with someone i think i would definitely uh, try out the air margaritaville burger king for the win standard cheeseburger and fries can't go wrong before a flight. I came back to Burger King again, just like I did last time, because um, it seems to be the only place that has a lot of space and actual social distancing between all the tables. So I highly recommend. Mm, you can't go wrong. Burger King is always good. So I'm going to be flying with British Airways once again to London. Direct flight from Miami to London, which is going to be about nine hours. And then I have a connecting flight from 
London Heathrow to my, uh, not Miami, to Manchester. And I always forget, but the British Airways line is actually part of the American Airlines. So yeah, if there's any of my fellow UK people traveling BA, uh, know that it's actually part of the American Airlines line that you have to be in. Well, that was quick and painless. That was probably the quickest check-in I ever had. Look, this is the uh, line for flights to London. It's like nobody here. I went straight to the front. So I had the idea that I wanted to check in early because I was seeing huge lines and I didn't want to, you know, miss my flight. But with that line being so short, <laughs> I actually have so much time to spare. But um, yeah, anyway, all good. Uh, check in nice and quick. All they needed to see was my passenger locator form, a COVID negative test and a vaccination status. So yeah, actually very easy flying back and forth from America to the UK right now very very easy so a lot of you have been asking me now what are my plans for when i go back to the uk uh, do i even have my next ship assignment yet uh, what type of videos do i plan to make so i do not have a ship assignment as of yet but i do have a lot of video ideas and plans that i am going to be doing when i am in the uk and i will be vlogging in fact I actually have potentially an upcoming trip back to America very soon, a lot sooner than you may think. In fact, I may not even be in the UK for that long uh, before I actually come back to America again. So all of this is going to be sort of new exciting adventures that I'm going to be bringing to my life and bringing to the YouTube channel. And I can't wait to start vlogging um, some different kind of videos, some videos slightly different from cruising. I'm going to start making videos deviating away from cruising a little bit as well, experimenting with my channel a little bit when I get back home to the UK. So I hope you find this very interesting. This is going to be, uh, yeah, this is going to be a very interesting part of my life coming up. Uh, I don't want to give away anything too soon, but uh, yeah, lots, like just to answer your questions, no, I don't have my next ship assignment yet, but yes, I do have a lot of video ideas planned that will be coming to the channel very soon. All right, so I've just been sitting here for a while whilst I'm just kind of still patiently waiting for time to actually go through security. Uh, I just was, you know, curious. I actually didn't even know what the numbers I made over the last sort of seven to eight months. But um, what I've done here is I've brought up my YouTube analytics and I have brought up the timeline from the, the beginning of my contract until now. So I joined the ship uh, June 9th and I signed off today January uh, 23rd well this is the January 22nd so this time period is the entire seven and a half month contract I have just done on board Odyssey of the Seas and I I was just curious to know how well my channel did over the course of my contract with all the videos that I've made and the numbers are actually insane like I don't know how you know, I, I don't know how you feel about me when I show sort of, you know, my analytics and just show stats, but I actually find this information quite interesting, especially when other YouTubers do it. So over the course of my seven and a half month contract, I was posting videos on average, I would say at least once a week. And in the time of my contract, my video has gained 1.7 million views, which is absolutely insane. It's hard to imagine that my videos have been watched that many times. 1.7 million views, which has actually worked out to be about $12,000 for me. So in the, in the contract that I've just done, I earned essentially on the side $12,000, over $12,000. And considering YouTube is actually my sort of side hustle right now, obviously my main job is being a crew member on the cruise ship, working every day and I do YouTube at least once a week just at the side and I can actually earn myself an extra 12k just doing something that I'm actually passionate about at the side that's kind of mental so I thought this would be interesting to share with you guys 1.7 million views and over twelve thousand dollars in revenue made for myself there's a full breakdown of you know of all the videos I've posted over the last um, seven and a half months as well look here's June 9th the first video I posted when I got on board the ship and then up until literally now uh yeah incredible i just i cannot thank you guys enough for 
being a part of this. It's you guys watching me right now who are who are contributing to things like this. One day I hope to actually do content creating and making YouTube videos on a full-time basis. So the fact that I can the, the fact that I've managed to build a community like this right now, I can only imagine what um, I can potentially build over the next 12 months. And like I said, the videos and ideas that I have planned, I think will definitely help me reach my goals. But again, it's, it's you guys right now who are choosing to watch my videos that are slowly but surely making my dreams come true. This is what I mean when I say you guys don't realize how much it means to me when, even if you just choose to watch one of my videos, you don't realize how much this is slowly changing my life. So right now, yeah, 1.7 million views over the course of a seven and a half month contract, $12,000 posting on average one video a week. Imagine if I was posting videos every day. Well, here we go. My flight has appeared on the board. London Heathrow, 7.40 p.m. American Airlines, flight 38. Oh man, well, the line for my check-in was short, but the line for security looks like it's going to be a little longer. Well, that took a little longer than I expected. The line of security was no joke, but once again, I'm still here in plenty of time. I have about 20 minutes now before I have to actually start heading to my gate to board. But yes, once again, I'm through security back in this area in Miami airport and it's uh things are looking good actually um in fact let me just show you lots and lots of people through here miami airport is looking very strong i really like this bookshop actually this window display from the bookshop very appealing to the eye in fact the lighting in this area is actually really nice <laughs> i should have filmed everything through here all right now it's time just to look at the shops again and um, patiently wait for my gates to open. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I just walked past this pizza place and it is very tempting to try and get a pizza before my flight. Can I eat one of these in 20 minutes? I don't know. 305 pizza, the smell has definitely attracted me. Well, I couldn't resist. 305 pizza, and oh look at this fun facts miami averages over 250 days of sunshine and the funny thing is is that the pizza place was literally right opposite the gate that i need <laughs> so i felt like i might as well just go for it from what I can tell, there isn't a lot of people boarding the flight, so I'm hoping the flight will be nice and empty and I can get a whole row to myself, just like when I flew out here. Please give me a whole row to myself. So I'm hoping this is my whole situation for the whole flight. Look at this. Nobody here. And I think I'm gonna watch Free Guy. I haven't seen it yet. Let me know if you guys like this movie. And remember, seatbelts should be fastened whenever you're seated, just in case of unexpected turbulence. To get us on our way, make sure your seat is up, all electronic devices are put away, and your tray table is stowed. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I am back in London Heathrow. It's kind of strange. It feels like I was just here. <laughs> and now I'm um, eight months later and I'm finally back home. But I want to take this opportunity to thank all of you for watching today's video and for thank you for watching me throughout the duration of this contract. Definitely one for the books. Uh, by far, in some ways, one of the most challenging contracts I have done 
working on a cruise ship so far in my career. Um, yeah, I've got my connecting flight to Manchester now, so with that being said, I am going to end the vlog right here. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you comment, leave a like, subscribe if you are brand new, and I will see you in my next video. The next adventure is coming very soon, and I'll see you then.